Real life is a phrase used originally in literature to distinguish between the real world and fictional or idealized worlds, and in acting to distinguish between performers and the characters they portray. More recently, it has become a popular term on the Internet to describe events, people, activities, and interactions occurring offline, or otherwise not primarily through the medium of the Internet. It is also used as a metaphor to distinguish life in a vocational setting as opposed to an academic one. As distinct from fiction When used to distinguish from fictional worlds or universes against the consensus reality of the reader, the term has a long history. Authors, as a rule, attempt to select and portray types rarely met with in their entirety, but these types are nevertheless more real than real life itself. In her 1788 work, Original Stories from Real Life, with conversations calculated to regulate the affections, and form the mind to truth and goodness, author Mary Wollstonecraft employs the term in her title, representing the work's focus on a middle-class ethos which she viewed as superior to the court culture represented by fairy tales and the values of chance and luck found in chapbook stories for the poor. As phrased by Gary Kelly, writing about the work, the phrase real life strengthens original, excluding both the artificial and the fictional or imaginary. Similarly, the phrase can be used to distinguish an actor from a character, e.g., in real life, he has a British accent, or in real life, he lives in Los Angeles. There is a related but slightly distinct usage among role players and historical reenactors to distinguish the fantasy or historical context from the actual world and the role player or actor from the character, e.g., What do you do in real life? or Where do you live in real life? Topic as distinct from the Internet On the Internet, "...real life", refers to life offline. Online, the initialism, "...IRL", stands for, "...in real life", with the meaning, "...not on the Internet". For example, while Internet users may speak of having, "...met", someone that they have contacted via online chat or in an online gaming context, to say that they met someone, "...in real life", is to say that they literally encountered them at a physical location. Some, arguing that the Internet is part of real life, prefer to use, "...away from the keyboard." AFK, e.g. the documentary TPBAFK. Some sociologists engaged in the study of the Internet have predicted that someday, a distinction between online and offline worlds may seem «quaint», noting that certain types of online activity, such as sexual intrigues, have already made a full transition to complete legitimacy and «reality». Related terminology The initialism, RL, stands for real life, and IRL for in real life. For example, one can speak of meeting IRL, someone whom one has met online, such as in LMIRL. Let's meet in real life. It may also be used to express an inability to use the Internet for a time due to RL problems. Some Internet users use the idioms 
FaceTime, Meet Space, or Meet World, which contrast with the term cyberspace. Meet Space has appeared in the Financial Times and in science fiction literature. Some early uses of the term include a post to the Usenet newsgroup Austin, Public Net in 1993 and an article in the Seattle Times about John Perry Barlow in 1995. The term entered the Oxford English Dictionary in 2000. As distinct from the academic world The phrase is also used to distinguish academic life from work in other sectors, in a manner similar to the term, "...real world". A person with experience in "...real life", or the "...real world", has experience beyond book learning. It may also be used, often pejoratively, to distinguish other insular subcultures, work environments, or lifestyles from more traditional social and professional activities. The terms, "...real life", and "...the real world", may also be used to describe adulthood and the adult world as distinct from childhood and adolescence equals equals see also